Hey guys, well, we're out here in the driveway tonight and what we're gonna work on is actually oiling in the patina, rust, whatever you wanna call it, on the 64. Now a lot of people ask me, what do you do to preserve it? A lot of people think I clear coat the truck, things like that. I don't like putting clear coat over rust. It just doesn't give it a natural look. So what we're gonna be using tonight is boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. Now I'm gonna show you how to mix up a batch and we simply how to apply it to get the look you want. All right, so let's mix up a batch. Now, I've got mineral spirits, linseed oil. Now, one thing you want to make sure to do is use boiled linseed oil because if you use standard, it tends to get very gummy. Yeah, so definitely use boiled, not standard. A glass container. Now, mason jar. Old get, jar. Any type jar. jar doesn't whatever. matter, right? Just rinse it out, <laughs> use it. If you got a lid with it, that's great because nine times out of 10, you don't use the whole batch. So you can just put a lid on it, put it aside, and it's there for you the next time you need it. A couple rags. Now, you don't have to have terry cloths. You can use whatever you want, t-shirts. I've used red shop rags. You just need something to evenly smear this out on the actual truck or whatever you're oiling. All right, well, let's start with the mineral spirits, okay? So... About three quarters there. of a cup. Looks so like. three quarters of a cup in a 32 ounce container. Done with that. Now, boiled linseed oil. I bought this container two years ago. It's still going. This stuff will last you forever. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks delicious. <laughs> All right, guys, you can if you want. Give it a stir. There you have it. There's your batch of oil. It'll coat the whole truck probably a few times. So, all right, well, let's get started, and I'll show you how to apply it, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, now, when you're applying it, there's no right or wrong way other than not getting it on the vehicle. So, you're gonna take your oil, soak the rag, and gently start rubbing it on. Now, you don't wanna rub it to where it's too thin. You want it just nice and even, okay? Just like so. Just a nice even coat. Now if it's too heavy in the area, take the back side of the rag, kind of thin it out a little bit. Just like that. Alright, now for you ladies, if you're helping out, I suggest gloves. Just, just because. All right. Other than that, you're pretty good for this truck. We're going to oil everything. So, let's get to it. Now, anywhere you feel that you put it on too thick, just keep spreading it. Just keep going. When your rag starts getting dry, go back to the area, sop up some more. You're just spreading it around. Well guys, we're all done. Now as you can see, that only took about 15 minutes. Super quick, fast, easy. With help, it goes fast. <laughs> so, now, these rags we use, you wanna make sure you dispose of those properly. Now, I've had viewers reach out to me and tell me they're highly flammable after you do this process. So, best thing probably to do would be rinse them under uh, just cold water with a little bit of dish soap, get them clean, and then throw them away. I get rid of them. <laughs> so, normally I would only use about a quarter of the jar to do the whole truck. Now, my big clumsy butt knocked it over climbing around, so, but luckily we still managed to do the whole car and we still got some left. Now, if I wanted to, I could put a, jar, a lid on this and save it, but it's so little, it's not a big deal. Okay, now, as you can see with the truck, there's a major shine to it right now. Now, what you can do is 
one leave it like this and it's going to give it like a gloss finish or I can wait till morning come out of here with a dry rag and buff it real quick to get any excess off and it'll dull down the shine on it now that's probably what I'll do but that's up to you that's whatever you guys prefer is what you should do all right guys well that's what we do to protect and preserve the patina rust whatever you want to call it on the truck now I got a lot of guys that have reached out to me that say they do this on old paint um, old flat worn out paint they put it on there uh, I have never tried that the truck has some paint left on it and it does totally fine alright guys I want you to let me know what uses you find for this but for now do me a favor like and subscribe and if you want to see more of our videos there should be a link along here alright guys have a good night Bye.